How are we doing guys? So today I want to start by taking, that's right, a red pill, a red pill. I'll get a better sip if I remove the lid. That's right, I'm red pilling myself everyone, that's a good feeling isn't it? Actually, wish they made them black, but red's good enough for me at the moment. It's actually a testosterone booster. Natural testosterone booster. I might need a little bit more of a downing. So today, there's two things I want to talk about. I'm coming from my car because at the moment I'm on a lunch break. I'm doing some ride share for some extra cash today. And... The first topic I'm going to cover is what happened in my rideshare just about 25 minutes ago before I dropped off this couple in my back seat. Now, he's a very average looking Australian guy. They brought some stuff in the car. It was The booking was under her name. She had a Chinese name. And she's a very average looking Chinese girl. He's an average looking Australian guy. She's a very average looking Chinese girl. Probably both in their early early 30s, from what I could tell. They're on their way to a Christmas in July party here in Sydney. And... So I'm waiting for this guy to go past. Okay, so, and... She's a very average-looking Chinese girl. And she's got a, um, a very high-pitched, nasally, squeaky voice. She talks like, oh, hey, 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 yeah, 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 hi, oh, yeah, yeah. Couldn't even, I, I had to do a double take to think it was actually a, a adult in the car. I had a look in the back through my rear view mirror and then I found out that she was indeed an adult and she looked like she was in her mid thirties. Very nasally childish voice and he's a very average looking Australian guy. Now why on earth would he be going out with a lady like that? Now they were in my back seat and I was on the, on the, on the trip and as I was driving, he brought something to her attention. He said, oh, have a look at this, incels. And she said, oh, what was that? And he says, oh, don't you know what incels are? They're incels. Uh, they're these guys who hate women and feminism because they can't get a date. Now, I bit my tongue. I didn't want to say anything. I could have spoken up in defense of incels, but I decided to bite my tongue uh, to not get into any kind of arguments. Now, obviously, this guy was a, a pussy man joiner, uh, male feminist, uh, if he, if he was so good with women himself, why does he have to go and date an average looking, very average looking Chinese woman with a very weird, very, very weird sounding voice? Sorry, just, uh, bring up that red pill. It's good for me. Uh, yeah, I just want to know why would he date there if he, uh, Unless he has yellow fever, but even then, I mean, she's a very, very average looking Chinese girl at best, Chinese lady, and very weird sounding voice, almost like clown-like, nasally clown-like voice. Uh, just blew my mind. And the comment he said, I wonder if the guy's actually himself an incel in denial, and he decided that, seeing that he couldn't attract any women of high quality, he went to... Uh, Southeast Asia or an Asian country, in this case China, and decided to get for himself uh, a girlfriend. But why would he say that, oh, incels, they, they all hate women and they hate feminists because they can't get a date. Uh, I wonder if he's projecting on, onto other, other people what his own insecurities are himself. Uh, he's obviously a mangina and a male feminist, and it's, it's just seemed to me like he was... Um, he and he's the kind of guy himself who would struggle to get a date with an, an average looking Western woman. So he went to uh, China or he found a Chinese girlfriend who's not that attractive and has a weird sounding voice. Make of that what you will. I think he's a man joiner and a male feminist and I think he's actually incel himself until he found her. Now the second thing I want to talk today about is another cancellation of one of my favourite channels. The Crow House. Now, not many of you would know The Crow House. Maybe some of you would, but not many. 
He's an Australian guy called Max Egan. He lives in country Victoria. And he posts about uh, a certain beer virus going around at the moment and other political matters in the world. Uh, he's been taken off YouTube. He's been deleted, cancelled. His, his, his channel's been cancelled. 13 years of hard work of his, can of his channel gone down the drain. Uh, he's backed a lot of it up on his website and he's using BitChute now. He's got a lot of those videos backed up onto Bit BitChute. And he's also, uh, I think he's uploading some of his older videos that he doesn't have. So at least he's got that. But this whole cancelling culture, it's part number two of this. It, it's it's got to stop. I mean, where does it all end? I mean, who's going to go next? It, it just blows my mind the reason why they want to shut people up. When only shutting people up is going to make people more curious as to why they were shut up. And go search for the information that they're trying to cancel. Anyway, that's my uh, my take for today, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend and a good week. Until the next one, bye-bye.